What's up everyone, my name is Nick and welcome back to TV Box Top, the channel for the best reviews in Android TV boxes and accessories. Today I have a special Android box from Buzz TV called the X5 Special Edition 128 AXSE model. It runs on the Amlogic S905X4 chipset with 4GB of DDR4 RAM and 128GB of internal storage and sporting the Buzz TV Live TV server hub feature. So up next, you have my full detailed review of its hardware and firmware features and you'll get to decide whether the X5 is the box suited to your needs. So don't go anywhere, that's up next. So I'm back and thanks for keeping it logged during that quick unboxing. So let's take a look at what's in your purchase. So first and foremost, you have the X5 Buzz TV model. You get the BT400 Bluetooth remote. You get one HDMI cable, a 5 volts 2 amps DC power adapter, and a support card with QR codes for the remote and another for the user manual of the box. So this X5's body is 100% aluminum with torque screws to the top to secure the bottom panel so there are no screws to its base. Its aluminum body also acts as its heatsink and it has the Buzz TV logo and a pattern to the top. For IO ports, it has one HDMI 2.1 display port, one RJ45 gigabit LAN port, one optical audio port, one AV port, a DC power socket, and a pair of external antennas. To its right, it has one USB 3.0, one USB 2.0, and a micro SD card reader. At the front, it has an LED power light and IR sensor. And to its base has four anti skid rubber feet and lots of ventilation holes. The first boot up process includes the Buzz TV animation, followed by the pairing of the BT400 Bluetooth remote. This is then followed by a first startup wizard to select your language, the option to select your time zone, connect to your Wi-Fi network, and then you may be presented with a firmware update for the Bluetooth remote or the box itself. Buzz TV is one of the brands that provides firmware updates, which augurs well for their boxes, ensuring updated patches or bug fixes were needed. So this is the Buzz TV launcher. And the top section is for their proprietary live TV server hub feature to host various live TV, video on demand, pay-per-view, and EPG guides from multiple sources. The second row is to access the apps section as well as a shortcuts bar. And the last row is to scroll horizontally all apps installed on the box. To the top right, you have a shortcuts bar to the settings area, a date and time widget, and a weather widget. This launcher runs on Android TV OS operating system, so it does not feature a navigation bar or status bar. About its firmware shows that it's running on Android 11 Android TV OS operating system. The model is the X5 128AX and its firmware kernel and build information. It comes in 54 various languages. When connected to my TV, it has a maximum resolution of 4K 2160p at 59.94Hz. It has HDR display, and out of the box, it comes set to HDR always on. However, you have the option to set it to adaptive HDR. You also have HDR up to 12-bit color space. It has HDMI CEC compatibility with your smart TVs power key definition options, and surround sound audio options. Under more settings, you have some advanced picture settings such as color presets, custom brightness and color settings, aspect ratio options, and advanced color adjustments. Under buzz utility settings, it has system updates, the option to change the launcher to a different buzz TV layout. You have the weather widget settings, options for the Buzz TV Bluetooth remote, volume control, and network shares. This is the equivalent to your Samba server feature. Before I continue with the rest of its features, let's take a look at what is Buzz TV's MO and what defines them from the rest. If you open the Live TV shortcut, you will access its Live TV server hub feature. 
In this interface, you can set up multiple live streaming subscriptions and switch between services without having to uninstall any of them. You also have multiple ways to access your subscriptions. You can use the MAC server ID address method, the Extreme Codes API login method, and you can also use M3U playlist. This interface does not use the service provider's interface, but its own Buzz TV interface for each service, with access to a PVR recording feature and full EPG guide layout. So this is Buzz TV's MO and is what defines them from the rest. Besides its live TV server feature, you can use it as a standard Android box. Here it shows that it has Google Wide Vine Level 1 with HDCP 2.3 protection, and here it shows that it's not rooted. With this level of protection, you are supposed to get services such as Prime Video and Disney Plus in HD and 4K. However, in my Prime Video account, it can only play up to HD 1080p with HDR. Netflix, on the other hand, will only show in basic 480p due to the lack of a Netflix ESN certification. However, there is a workaround to get Netflix in at least HD 1080p by sideloading a modified version of the app. Please note, this is not some hacked version to get free Netflix, in fact, that's impossible. The app utilizes the box's Widevine Level 1 encryption together with your paid subscription and grants you at least HD 1080p once you are paying for an HD account. This does not work if you have a basic package. So to get your hands on this modified version, you would have to email me at tvboxstop at gmail.com. So before I proceed, let's take a minute to look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this chipset is Droid Logic, and it runs on 4GB of DDR4 RAM, 128GB of internal storage, and its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU is the Amlogic S905X4, which is a quad-core Cortex-A55 processor clocked at 2.0GHz configured in 32-bit mode, which restricts it to only 32-bit apps and games. Its display is powered by the Mali G31 GPU with OpenGL ES version 3.2 support. Its Wi-Fi adapter uses Wi-Fi 6 technology, and it's one of the first boxes I see that actually has an indicator that shows you it's using Wi-Fi 6. Its operating system is Android 11, and it shows that it's not rooted. Its GPU has Vulkan support API version 1.1. With its aluminum body, its idle operating temperature is 65 degrees Celsius. For decoders in this list, I see that it has Dolby Vision, AV1 and HAVC. There is no Dolby Atmos EAC3 or DTS HD in this list, and that's its system and hardware information. For installing apps, you have the Android TV version of the Play Store, and for those who are new to Android boxes, this is not the same as the Google Play Store found on your mobile phones. This is a special limited version with apps designed to be navigated with a direction pad, and their layouts are designed for horizontal TV screens with no touchscreen function. This does not mean it's restricted, as you can sideload some of your favorite mobile apps and they will work on this box. They just won't be found on this version of the Google Play Store for install. So moving on to YouTube videos. So with the Android TV version being the default version of Android TV OS, you get up to 4K 2160p with HDR quality. And here's a look at the Stats for Nerds information. For mobile screen mirroring, it does not come with the official version of Mirrorcast, so you are left to try the AirScreen app. And even with the AirScreen app, your mobile devices do not detect it. For the sake of curiosity and for those wondering about the functionality of the menu button alternative navigation bar, well, the bar installs and configures without issues. However, due to no root access, the only feature that's not working is the recent apps feature. For customizing your launcher, you can install custom background images, and you can also use alternative launchers in addition to Buzz TV's alternative options. However, with alternative launchers, you don't get to add or change its wallpaper. For playing self-hosted videos with the available video decoders, it can play 4K HDR, HLG, and AV1 videos.
During the system and hardware information, it revealed that it does not have any surround sound audio decoders. However, in this test, it shows that it outputs Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Surround, and DTS Neural X. It cannot output DTS HD Master Audio, DTS X, or Dolby True HD. is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio. With powerful moving audio that trans channels to moving around you with 10-point accuracy. When it comes to gaming and heat management, the X5 does a pretty good job with its aluminum body keeping its temperature at around 72 degrees Celsius during gaming. I connected my Bluetooth gamepad simultaneously with its Bluetooth remote and there was no conflict with connected devices. And with my gamepad, I was able to enjoy smooth graphics and gameplay without throttling. For users of Core Alec, Core Alec comes with its own Buzz TV X5 DTB, and when installed, all features are working. You have access to dual band AX Wi Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, and the ability to install any add on you like. Its CPU is clocked at 2.0 GHz. You get 4K 2160p at 60Hz resolution. You get HDR10 and HLG, and you get Dolby Atmos and DTS Neural X. And for those who would like to enjoy some retro gaming on MU Alec using the same Buzz TV X5 DTB, you can enjoy hundreds of thousands of retro gaming titles if you know how to configure your own retro arch library. So retro gaming is really good, even difficult hard to render games such as Tekken. And now, a look at some benchmarks and where it places on my ranking chart. First, the speeds from its RAM and internal storage. It has a RAM copy speed of 3488 MB per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 162 MB per second and a write speed of 128 MB per second. For testing its Wi-Fi and Ethernet LAN speeds, seeing that it has a Wi-Fi 6AX adapter, I set my router to WPA3 personal with AES encryption and these are the results. Based on my network speed of 154 megabits per second, on the 5 GHz band it achieved the maximum speed of my network. Its 2.4 GHz band maxed out at around 112 megabits per second, which is 72% of the speed of my network. And its Ethernet LAN port from these tests proves that it's a gigabit LAN port, also achieving the maximum speed of my network. Its 2.4 GHz band still achieved better than most, averaging over 100 megabits per second. In benchmarking its CPU, in the Geekbench 5 CPU benchmark, it scored 150 single core and 379 multi core. But please note, you should not reference these scores to previous Geekbench versions as these tests are more CPU intensive and will result in a lower score. 
and in the comprehensive and total benchmark, it scored 103,108. So that's a pretty high score and let's now see where it places on my chart. So with these scores, the Buzz TV X5 is currently at position 31 based on its high and total benchmark score and this is not bad at all for this box. If you would like to view this chart, I recommend that you do so on a large screen monitor where you can compare its various benchmarks and features such as root access, Google certification and the surround sound audio with other boxes in this list. This chart can also help you decide which is the best TV box to purchase based on your requirements. So to view this chart, see the link in the description below. In summary, there are a lot of things to like about the X5 in relation to its streaming features, quality build and hardware performance. Then there are some minor issues that may be a deal breaker for specific users. All in all, I think it's a fantastic, dynamic, well-rounded Android box and I recommend it to purchase. So friends, that brings to an end this review. Thanks go out to Buzz TV for sending this model for review and if you would like to purchase, you can get it at the lowest price using the link in the description below. Also, the link in the description is my affiliate link. So if you intend to purchase, do me a favor, help me earn that commission by using my link. Thanks in advance for your support. As always, give this video the thumbs up to show some support. If this is the first time viewing one of my videos, then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to receive notifications when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. It's always nice seeing and hearing from you in the comments. Stay tuned and see you in the next one.